good evening, as it is actually 6.33 p.m. on the day that I am filming this, and I don't think the lighting is going to be particularly good. But I think it's going to be good enough to get through what we got to get through. This is a brand new sealed inbox genius net scroll scroll through all major windows programs unique scroll design makes scroll on the internet and windows documents a breeze perfect for left, right or left hand users easy jump feature lets you open up to eight special functions quickly that I did not know zoom function for office 97 and IE 4.0 I? I don't get it. Anyway, and drivers for Windows 3, X9598, and XT. And I am not going to attempt to read any of the other languages. Oh, this is the easy jump thing. This is a, uh, I guess, something that is on there. Smarter input for smarter output. 3D wheel mouse to scroll the internet and Windows documents. Use with other hand, with either hand. Two-year warranty. I wonder if that warranty is still good now that I bought it in 2020. And I apologize. You are only about maybe two feet above a above a heater <laughs> because it's 30 some degrees outside, <laughs> and I'm in a hollow metal tube. Supports Windows NT 9598. Net scroll. Scroll through the window. Okay. Yeah, we've already read all that. So I am going to take my trusty knife, which by the way, if you never noticed, I am left-handed. I don't know if I've ever written anything on camera before. If not, you just learned something to know about me. Try my best to get you as good of a view of this as I can. Yeah, this has never been touched before. This um, has a copyright of doesn't say. I'm going to look in the manual and see if it has any information. But we have the genius. This actually doesn't feel too bad. Crap, I don't have a mouse pad here. Oh well, I'll, I'll make do without it. We have a... I thought it said two year warranty. I kind of want to uh, mail this in. You know what? I am going to do that. I'm going to mail this in. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. We have... Netmouse 98 Net Scroll Software. And we have a manual. On the manual, it should have a copyright date somewhere. Copyright 1998. I'm hoping that the driver disc A still works and B will actually. Um, yeah, this is the most elegant solution ever. So I think I'm going to try to install the software first. And then, oh yeah, the disc also says copyright 1998 IBM PC and 100% compatible systems. All right reserves, or all rights reserved. This is keyboard for this, right? Yeah. I was just really happy I didn't have to manually set a whole bunch of crap on this. <clears throat> I'm not going to make the joke, but you know what I want to say. Start an MS-DOS. I think I'm going to try to do the uh, install through DOS. Amazingly, this is remember remembering everything. I think that battery is actually still good. Oh yeah, this is not going to work sitting on top of that. Uh, 
Are you able to see the screen? You're not really able to see the screen. Let me uh, try to zoom you in a little bit. Yeah, okay. So, that's that good. Let me just try... Which serial port do I want to try to plug it into? Uh, they're both on the same card, so... I'm just going to try... Uh... Okay, we're going to skip that. And then we're going to skip that. Ibib is. I hope that that looks like it's oh they're pretty good. Uh, so we're going to go to main file manager. And we're going to go to the A drive. Oh, there's a DOS one. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go... What is this DOS.txt? Yeah. Right, so we're... that's fine. I like how uh, DOS back then used to... Uh, These used to switch back and forth better be between uh, oh, yeah. uh, G mouse. I am recorded, right? Yeah. All right. Uh... Okay, so I don't understand this. Okay, so we're going to go back. CD. DIR slash W. Alright, so. What if we try. Because all I'm trying to do is INSTDOS. All I'm trying to do is get. Okay. So I need to go back into Windows then. And I need to make a directory on the C drive. File Manager. Make a new direction. Right, so we're going to go into, I think, system. Okay, no, we're not. So we're going to close that. We go back into Win or DOS. I list the DOS and DOS.
told else. Before you install the DOS mouse driver, okay, we are going to continue. Okay. Installation completed. Please restart your computer to load the mouse driver. I really, really, really want to get messing with this uh, paint thing on it. But, uh. Oh. Poop. I did install. And now we see the mouse drive. Now, does that mean that on Windows we now have a mouse? Or is that just DOS? Okay. So now, we need to try to figure out how we're going to get the, uh, oh. Get this mouse driver working on here. Shit. Or another word you didn't hear me say. setup.exe. Let's see. Requires a different... Let's make sure... It says Windows 3x95 and uh, 98. So this is going to be more of a problem than I want it to be, ain't it? Alright. So, I'm going to pause the video for just a second. So, this is stupid. To install net... Ugh. To use NetScroll with Windows 3X, you need to download the driver from Genius homepage, genius.com forward slash, or dot tw. Now, here's the question. Apparently, somebody texted me, but I don't really care. Okay. So, I'm going to go to www.gen. I-U-S net dot com dot T-W because you know this is 2020 and it's been a very long time and apparently they still exist but how likely am I they mainly do Bluetooth speakers and they do do mice, but I need a driver for uh, yeah I'm gonna have to do some research tonight and uh, see what I can find but uh, I mean I gotta be back up here tomorrow anyway for a couple hours and uh, I will be shooting another video while I'm up here but uh yeah, so I'm going to be back up here. That's going to help. So, But we'll see what happens then. So, I need to see if I can find a compatible... Because I don't really care about the thing. Let me... Because I, I need to find a mouse driver in general, I think. And uh, that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to do some research. Find a mouse driver that should work with Windows 3.1 and we will continue this video tomorrow then and that's a keyboard let's try to figure out if I left my uh, if I had left my uh, my portable floppy drive here but I think I did actually take it home so speaking of home I guess that's where I'm going talk to you guys later 
So last night I had made a flash drive with a whole bunch of files on it. One of which was a mouse driver for Windows 3.11. Do you want to take a guess as to what I forgot at home and now I'm on a uh, website downloading the mouse driver again? I'll give you a minute because I know that's a challenging question. I forgot the dang down flash drive. Oh well. I said dang, not the other one. And uh, today I have the generator actually a little bit closer to the trailer so if you hear that that's one thing if you hear another thing there's one heater behind you that way and one heater that way I managed to uh, run a second extension cord so I can run both heaters because my, my generator has two circuits and uh, I'll have private internet access and uh, so I don't know what's going on here but everything is running slow as who and um, Apparently, you can um, run Windows Setup again to do uh, the mouse drivers. However, I don't have all the disks and I don't really feel like... Because if you remember from the last video, I had to keep rewriting the disks. And I don't want to have to keep doing that. Um, so I'm just going to install a mouse driver and... This website here, um, conradshome.com slash 31, has actually been very helpful to me. And uh, it actually has a lot of uh, very good um, Windows 3.1 stuff. So I actually just shot part of a vlog, which you'll have seen yesterday. <laughs> and uh, that uh, so I had to move some stuff around here so I have all these discs here instead of where I had them so since this is actually working to, oh, I've got stuff all over the place now uh it's just been, it's been a really interesting day because I actually have a job interview in a couple of hours. I'll probably pick the vlog back up after that. Because um, this will just be my normal Sunday video. I am shooting it on Saturday, which is yesterday. And, uh, yeah, so format's complete. So I'm going to go into downloads. This actually didn't take as long as I thought it might. So I'm going to copy... Go back into PC. Running the floppy drive on Windows 10 really is kind of a pain in the butt. But it's also not. I mean, it's really not. There's nothing really hard about it. Actually, what I did last night might have helped with the light and let. Or what I did right before I shot this segment of the film probably would have been helpful with last night's portion. Par portion of the video. Yeah, I mean, I get why, you know, I kind of get it, like the, uh, the, uh, that mouse came out in, what, 1997, 1998, so Windows 3.1 really wasn't a thing, or really wasn't a common thing anymore. So, I, I, th I guess I get why they didn't put the 3.11 driver on, on the disk, but that was still mild, mildly annoying, because the whole reason I, I bought one that came with a driver disk was because I knew of the problems associated with running a mouse on Windows 3.1. I've been through this in the past. Alright, so I'm skipping that. I don't know what you can see because there is a... Hey, let me shut this light off. Oh, God, that made things so much better.
guess I could shut off my Wi-Fi hotspot. So I shut the laptop down. What do you think? All right, so we're gonna go into File Manager. I can also shut off the one on my phone. Because I, I was having a problem with uh, trying to get things going. So let me move a hotspot off. Oh, yeah, there it is, okay. So I don't know if uh, copy, Is that working? I guess that's working, right? Floppy drive spinning. It says copying. But yeah, I guess, yeah, especially since, yeah, I mean, the, the name was uh, MouseMate98. So I guess, I guess that makes sense. I'm not going to be too mad at them. And to be fair, this was also one of the cheapest ones I could get. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Zip. Yeah, this is where they were touting, like, to power the uh, Pentium over the 486. Was, like, doing this kind of stuff. Alright, so now I need to go... Mouse 901... Setup.exe. Yes, I definitely want that. I definitely want that uh, in my auto EXE. I do not want to have to deal with that. Well, I'm going to try something in the setup real quick. Give me one minute. What I'm trying to do now is set things up in the uh, BIOS so that it'll not have to, but it, it's just taking uh, options, skip yes, skip yes, skip yes, so that it, uh, I don't have to sit there and wait for it to, oh, sorry, don't have to wait for it to auto detect. Does the memory check three times and then. Good. Okay, finally, I got it uh, all set up. Ooh, we have a mouse. We have a mouse. Set button. I don't need a large one, let's just do color normal. Yeah, we don't need all that. So now we have a mouse. So now I don't have to do as much uh, stuff with that. Okay, so what did I even want to, so now there's even a mouse uh, manager. Oh, I guess that's what I was just in. Yeah, I want to go actually to, is it startup or main? Control panel. Boost. Okay, so that's going to be the same one. Okay. Yeah, I'm not worried about any of that. But, uh, wow, they must not have had faith in people. Okay, so now we have the mouse on here. Now what I can actually start to do 
is start loading some games on here. I gotta get an ISA, I think I have an ISA sound card. So I gotta get the ISA sound card put in, put some sound on it. And this might actually be a pretty killer, uh, pretty killer uh, DOS machine. I mean, the uh, 66 megahertz, 8 megs of RAM, that's quite a bit for the era. I guess I'm just doing this because I can. Even though I'm using it with my left hand, I'm not, not doing it left-handed, if that makes sense. And then I gotta dig through those games, see what kind of games I might want to play. So I have a whole slew of games on my uh, hard drive for DOS. But uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of the machine, what you think I should do, shouldn't do. Even though I'm probably just going to do what I want anyway. <laughs> but I definitely want to try to get the um, get the uh, paint matcher working. That's going to be that's going to be a hard task, I think. That's going to require a lot of research and a lot of my videos. I don't I don't know if you noticed. I don't do a whole lot of research before I start filming because <laughs> that would take work. And I do enough work at work to not have to do that. But we have a mouse, and uh, I guess that's the big important part is we have it. I think I can finish this game, but I'm actually probably not going to. Yeah. Anyway, actually, I'm so used to not having the mouse, but yeah, this is actually a pretty cool mouse. It's just a basic mouse, but the fact that I got it brand new means I don't really have to worry about the ball on it. It was not all gummed up or anything. I can actually go into like menus on here now. Ooh, paintbrush. I'm not right-handed. No. Anyway, I think that's going to wrap up today's video. I was hoping it was going to take longer because my interview is not for another two hours. But I might go get some lunch and then uh, go do some stuff. See, I don't know any uh, DOS programs offhand that I have that will uh, work with it with, uh, with a mouse so there really isn't a whole heck of a lot more I wanted to talk about uh, my on my vlog either I just needed to uh, get this going this actually runs pretty quick I don't know if you noticed that so yeah I'm gonna go ahead I think I don't know if my next video is actually going to be back on that uh, HP Thin Client. This, or there's a, weird, a Dell I have that's all kinds of uh, has all kinds of uh, scuzzy stuff that I don't fully understand. <laughs> so it's going to be on one of these three machines. This one's already set up, so I'll almost guarantee that it's going to be this one. Um, yeah, in case you're wondering, this is actually made by X-Rite, the letter X, and then R-I-T-E Incorporated, in Granville, Michigan. And I actually contacted them two years ago and asked them, I said, hey, you know, I found this, you know, I, I rescued this machine, and I would like to try to get uh, as much information on it as I can. And I would like to restore it back to its original condition. Is there any ways you could help me? And they just sent me back. Basically said, no, we don't support those machines anymore. They're too old, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm not asking you to support it. I'm just asking, you know, hey, where can I find the software? I want to show this thing. I even mentioned that I had a YouTube channel. And you know what? Actually, I have one more thing I want to do on this. I got to bring my laptop up. I just noticed something I did not notice the first time around, or actually when we restarted it the last time. If you notice, it actually says mouse on COM1. So I did not notice that. So it, it picked it up right away and it it ran with it. So I'm actually trying to download a program right now and as soon as I'm done with that, I'll come right back. 
this is painful. I'm downloading at between eight point you know, eight kilobits a second up to or down to six, down to four point eight, three point two. It's just it's just not good. It's kind of like all over the place here. But this is what I do for you guys. For whatever reason I'm actually having better luck on my uh phone's hi-fi or Wi-Fi hotspot than I am an actual mobile hotspot right now, so we're working with that now. Um, but yeah, once this is downloaded, I'll be uh, right back to y'all. Oh, sorry about that again. Man, look at that, look at that speed of the uh, floppy drive copy. 88.7 kilobytes per second. That is blazing fast. How could we even handle speeds like that back in the day? Man. So now we're going to shut down the laptop one more time. Hopefully for the last time that it can go in that bag that you may or may not be able to see. Why that was preventing it from shutting down. Once let's go out. It'll, it should actually shut down. It's the MacBook that does that sometimes. My MacBook, every now and again, if you uh, close the lid, like I, I've even changed the setting. Ah. It's okay, I'm only stupid. <laughs> So anyway, well that was a fun move. So let's zoom you back in on the monitor. I'm gonna try not to make give you motion sickness here. Okay, so we want A colon, C colon, pound pound. A cold. There we go. It might help to put a disc in it. So we're going to run HWINF555. Poop. That's a, uh, that's a zip file. I'll be right back. Now we'll try this one more time. A colon. HW. INFO. I'm curious as to what kind of grip. Not enough memory to run. Needs 16 megs of RAM. Really? I did not know that. Oh, uh, this only does TXTs. Okay, never mind. Yeah, so I guess I'm not running that. Right here, voices out here. There was somebody at another trailer down. Oh, you know what? I was hoping to see what kind of video card was in it. Oh, yeah, I'm so used to doing that with the Linux distribution. So I guess I can't do this without uh, 16 megs of RAM. Oh, well. And if you see, it says 15, 968. So, anyway, let's see. Oh. It's gonna tell me. Alright. Let's wanna see what for what version we want? It should be 622, yeah. Current time is 322, 52, that is off by a lot. But uh anyway, I think we're gonna call this a video. Thanks for watching, have a blessed day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.